Hi folks, this is Jason. Hope you're okay today. We're looking at our 10 part series on Richard Dawkins and uh, the Evangelist for Christmas. And he was on a program uh, debating Muslims this Christmas and uh, propagating his, his militant atheism like a good little evangelist he is. And one of the things that he mentioned on the program, uh, it was on Al, Al Jazeera T television, uh, he mentioned that he felt that evolution was quite, um, it was not a very nice uh, belief or theory because, you know, survival of the fittest and it's not very nice. Um, so, he, But he, he said, I'm a committed Darwinian in the sense that he believed in, in evolution, but he was not an advocate of Darwinian kind of ethics of the utilization of the selfish gene and to me that was a an intellectual contradiction really it's kind of it's kind of like having a cake your cake and eating it it's like saying I'm a Muslim but I don't want to live the implications of my Islamic beliefs I, I'll change them and I'll be a Christian in my practice but I'm a Muslim in my beliefs or I'm a, a Christian in my beliefs, but I'll be a Muslim in my practice. It just doesn't make sense. You know, you either believe it or you don't believe it. If you believe evolution's true, and if you believe that the implications of the selfish gene is precisely that, selfishness, and that's the foundation, then why don't you logically follow your own foundation? It just doesn't make sense. So I'd be encouraged to... Uh, I'd be interested to hear our atheist answer that question. Don't you think it's hypocritical to have something as an intellectual foundation but not live by that intellectual foundation? 